Hey, I don't do this very often. Welcome to the channel, everyone that's new, all the new subscribers. I say this a lot in my live streams, but I don't think I ever acknowledge this in a video. A bunch of new people here, people ask me all the time to acknowledge the sub count on the channel. I think we're at 41,000, I think, around there? Getting close, maybe? I don't know, but if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about some Adventure Quest news like we do every Thursday, so let's get right into it. Alright, so I know you've already seen the title. We'll talk about that. Uh, this relates to it. It is about time for another update. Ardex had said we were going to make an announcement about Adventure Quest Worlds at the spring break. And we're right at that point. At the same time... At the same time... Uh, and there's a cap there. Okay, I'll go into more detail about where the rewrite is at, what is next, and how to get the server bank pet so if you don't know what the server bank pet is that's the free bank pet you get for playing on test server and getting a 150 uh quest sprockets for doing quests on the test server so if you don't have those sprockets make sure you go get those on the uh test versions of adventure quest worlds uh so we're gonna get an update on the server rewrite soon now this might not be good news for some players and i'll go into that in the next little bit here all right, the comment above this doesn't really relate. Uh, Cesaro kind of just plugs that they're doing another Kickstarter project in the future. Uh, so he's a game developer for Arctic Entertainment, so it's right in his bio. Uh, be sure not to miss our next Kickstarter on our next game project, which will probably be Adventure Quest Worlds Mobile. So, okay, uh, going off that, a uh, someone asked about Adventure Quest Worlds. We'll have a Kickstarter, AQW Mobile, all caps, mobile. Dot dot dot. We'll probably have a Kickstarter. So he's hinting at a Kickstarter for AQ Mobile. Now, I think there is a difference between AQ Mobile and the server rewrite. I'm not certain on that yet. Uh, because Flash is dying in two years, we want to make AQW. We want to make sure AQW can live in some form. Uh, mobile is the right way to go. And someone asks, "Wait, so we will only be able to play AQW on mobile in a couple years?" Uh, and then Cisco replies, "With there might be a way to force your computer to run Flash then, but Adobe was uh, has dropped development support, and all browsers have dropped browser support for Flash now in 2020." Act uh, they actively will start blocking flash. We'll probably keep a server on for those who want to force flash to operate uh, And then someone replies with well, adventure quest worlds will only be mobile or will it be PC but not running on flash? Uh, if we can get a client uh, version working we will but it's unlikely So what will AQW uh, be most likely mobile or PC mobile period and then someone asks, oh, come on, why mobile with tiny screens, no multitasking stuff, and the neck ouchies. <laughs> and the vast, vast reach and availability, every third person on the planet Earth has a mobile device. Why would we want to make a game for a third of the human race already has a console for? Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, my, uh, my extreme bias towards the PC side. Uh, it makes sense that they're making Adventure Quest Worlds for mobile. It doesn't make sense that they're cutting PC support from these statements. Now this isn't final. This isn't it doesn't stop here. Plans change and stuff like that and they're not I don't think they've started working on Adventure Quest Mobile from uh, what I've read on uh, certain posts on I don't even think they started the development for the mobile. I mean, they're thinking about it, but I don't think they've started it yet, and they don't have a Kickstarter out yet, which they said that they're going to do most likely. Uh, there is a little bit more info in this post, but I'm really, I really, my opinion on this is they should have a PC client. Uh, it would be dumb not to. The game has been on PC for 10 years, almost 10 years. It might not, hopefully it makes it to 10 years. Uh, it'll be this year. It, it had been on PC for 10 years in the browser. So, the next step would be a full-fledged client for PC and for mobile, 
uh, you would assume, but I guess they want to focus more on mobile because that's where the users are. It does make sense with 2D game, it makes a lot more sense than AQ3D in my opinion, but at the same time, I'd be really, really upset to not see Adventure Quest Worlds on a mobile phone. Someone here says, put it on Steam like AQ3D and Cesaro replies with, uh, it's not as simple as that, but we are trying to get a client version working, so I really hope they try really hard to get a PC client version working. The idea is to get a mobile version working, that's our goal. The version would be the tablet version, ideally it will work like AQ3D in its cross-platform nature, but it's not as simple as starting from scratch like we did on AQ3D. Okay, so, and then... After that, sorry, I'm cutting the video a lot. I'm just, I'm thinking about what I'm saying before I'm saying it a lot in this video. Uh, we are looking at a way, okay, so someone asks, can't flash dying, uh, okay, oi. He says, oi, <laughs> AKW, you better stay on PC. We're gonna uh, lose quite a following of players, I feel. Uh, we are looking at a way to ensure flash death cannot hurt us. Uh, we have a couple of different ideas in mind, including a mobile version and some other plans under investigation. So that's all Elena has to say on it. Uh, she's the uh, lead for Adventure Quest Worlds. So basically the takeaway from this is we they are working. We will probably see a Kickstarter for Adventure Quest Worlds. They're working on Adventure Quest Worlds Mobile. Mobile all caps. Uh, not a big fan of that. Of course, I would like a PC version of it that is good and supported for PC. Uh, and not have to like play through an emulator or whatever if you want to play on PC that would be terrible that'd be a terrible experience um, I'm sure a lot of people would like that also uh, and if you would like that make sure you voice your opinion about that uh, where you can do it respectfully of course and uh, be nice um, and also they're doing a Kickstarter for AQW mobile so if you're it will probably be rewards like that just like for uh, Avage Quest uh, 3D uh, I don't know if they're going to do, they did an alpha pirate, I'm not sure what they're going to do for the lower tier stuff, but the high tier stuff might be the same, uh, like having your NPC in the game, or having your own map area, uh, stuff like that, like the high tier rewards for AQ3D's Kickstarter. So if you're interested in that, you might want to set aside some money for that Kickstarter that should be coming up hopefully in the near future, although you never know oh, with this, anything related to the server rewrite. It's always 99.99% .99 complete, and we'll see it tomorrow, so hey, don't hold your breath for that. Okay, some Adventure Quest news. Hydroxide posted a reimagining of the Graveland Blade. Looks really sick. Uh, don't know if it'll be in-game. He did suggest it on the forums. Uh, that's where people would suggest items. That's the official place to suggest item that you want, want to put into the game. Uh, Alina says it's epic. I love the reimagining. Really great job. So we could see this in game. Maybe it looks really good. I would definitely buy it for ACs. I might farm for it, but you know, you know me when it comes to farming. The Great Fire War is coming to Adventure Quest. Pretty cool. Uh, so it's the quest line they had in Adventure Quest and Dragon Fable, uh, and it will be the Dragon Slayer Origin Saga we've mentioned before. Uh, that's what Alina says on that. So you can look forward to that if you're interested in Dragon Slaying. Hopefully it's better than the last time we had a Dragon Slaying cuts uh, quest line. Hero Mart spoilers! Since we just sent out the Adventure Quest newsletter coming soon to Hero Mart, the Sephiric Paladin logo t-shirt. Get the shirt to show your allegiance to Lycan and unlock the Eternal Sephiric Paladin set and character page badge for Adventure Quest Worlds. Uh, so I think the right one's the female. You can see the big wings that look really badass. They look like a re... I don't, want, I don't know if they're a recolor, uh, but they look like wings we already have in the game, just black. Uh, with really cool add-ons to them, of course. Definitely worth... Uh, definitely look nice. And then we got male and female uh, sets there uh, for Hero Mart. So it's not on Hero Mart at the time of recording this video, but you could see this on Hero Mart in the near future. Also, it was said that Card Clasher, uh, the guy that runs Hero Mart Stretch on Twitter... Uh, said that Card Clasher should be out sometime this month uh, on Hero Mart, so that is still happening, and it is almost the end of the month. We got like uh, a week and a few days left in the month, so you might see Card Clasher next week, hopefully. Uh, but I wouldn't hold your breath for that, just like the server rewrite. We'll get it when we get it. J6 with a brand new map 
for an upcoming quest line. J6 does all the back or most of the background art in Adventure Quest Worlds. I don't know if he does all of it. He does a good portion of it. So very cool looking design that could hint at a quest line. Now, if you watched last week's video, last week's video would actually relate to this picture uh, of set in last week's video. So if you haven't seen that yet, uh, make sure you check that out. Now, uh, in the email that you, that you got, if you're signed up for the newsletter, uh, which if there's anything ever interesting in the email, I will definitely tell you about it in these videos. Uh, so Friday 13th, which is 13th of next month, April, uh, we are going to get a quest line including Voltaire. Pretty interesting. Uh, usually Friday 13th recently have not been too exciting, but there's always a chance that the next one is good. Sorry, pause there. I just want to go in game for a second. So uh, if you didn't check out the last video on my channel, make sure you check that out. Uh, it was how to get the set that I'm wearing right now in game. That's why I logged into the game. Uh, so you can check out that video and there's a bunch of other armors and stuff in that video also. So thank you for watching. Uh, one more thing, final note. Uh, this, uh, the server rewrite stuff, hopefully there's a PC client. I, I really hope there is. I really hope they don't go mobile only and eventually quest. Cause it seems like every game, every past game they've been doing is mobile, 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 only mobile. Uh, it seems like they've completely abandoned uh, making uh, games. I guess they were a flash only company before, so it makes sense to transition into mobile. But at the same time, I'd really like to see some PC support uh, from Arnix Entertainment. Hopefully we will. I mean, AQ3D, the PC version of AQ3D, it needs some work, admittedly. And I think they know that too. Uh, but it's pretty good, so it runs okay. And I would lo definitely like to see Adventure Quest Worlds in the same place that AQ3D is or in a better place than AQ3D is on PC. Hopefully we'll see that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not ready. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow on the live stream. We'll be checking out, I think, Lakin's quest lines coming out tomorrow for AQW. I'm pretty sure about that. I'm pretty sure we're getting the Lakin update. Uh, the final Lakin quest line ever in Adventure Quest World. That'll be tomorrow, part one of that. So I'll see you guys there. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.